Hey everyone, it's Deborah Stern from Stages of Life Fitness and Nutrition. Uh, my business used to be called Food Print for Life, so you might know me as that um, person. <laughs> uh, I am a personal trainer. I've been certified for 26 years and have been loving my career for 46 years. For 26 years. I'm 54. Um, anyway, a real heartwarming story. I had, I lived in LA for 13 years. I had an amazing client out there who I loved. And recently due to COVID, she called and said, can we do some FaceTime videos? And I thought, oh my God, how, I mean, just warm my heart. So I've been working with her, um, and we've been doing a lot of neck exercises because again, what I'm realizing is during this time, so many of us, me, here I am sitting, um, sit at a computer all day and we are looking down at our keyboard. You know, even if our monitor's up, um, we can't necessarily type like this. So I just have had so many clients in the past with neck and shoulder injuries. And I have a little routine that I've been doing for a long time with my neck in terms of stretching. And so I told my client that I would send her a video and I figured, you know what, if I'm sending it to her, why not send it out to the world? So um, I'm going to go through it kind of quickly. Um, but what I want you to do is on each exercise, each part that we do, I would love for you to hold it for 60 seconds. Um, we're not going to do that, you know, on the video because that will take too long. But anything less than that, I mean, I would say at least 30 seconds. So 30 to 60 seconds, 60 is going to be optimal. Um, just because with stretching, it takes time for the muscles to start relaxing. So if we're just kind of doing this kind of thing, you know, it might feel good for two seconds, but it's not going to actually like release what we're trying to do when we stretch. Okay. So the first, um, exercise for the neck. Okay. And one of the things that I, I really want you to realize, and oh God, you know, <laughs> it's not always fun to look at yourself in the video. Uh, I'm like, oh no. Okay. Sorry. <laughs> um, okay, so the main thing with these exercises is that you're not moving your body, okay? It's just the neck. That's all you're really doing. So when we, the first part of this is going side to side. So what I say is think of your ear to the top of your shoulder. So what you're literally going to do is just look straight forward and just bring your neck to the side, thinking of your ear to the shoulder. So instead of this way or this way, and you might look in a mirror just again so that you know your alignment, but you want to think of looking straight ahead and just bringing that part of your neck down, maybe ear to neck. Taking this hand with your fingertips gently, you do not want to push hard, but you just want to give a little assist. Now, with the other arm, you are going to straighten it out because as you push, when you just slowly kind of go up and down with that arm, whoo, you can feel it all through the neck and the shoulder area, okay? So when you're sitting, you can do this. You could do it standing too. I'm just, I'm sitting right now so that I can um, be in front of the computer. Once you've held this for at least 30 seconds, hopefully 60, you want to be very gentle. Release the fingertips first. Slowly bring your head back to center. Okay. Now you're going to do the other side. So again, everything's in alignment and you're just bringing that ear to the shoulder without moving any other part of your body. Taking this hand, fingertips gently, just giving a little bit so you feel it all through here. 
as you're doing this again, this arm, you can kind of go up and down without moving your neck and you'll feel more of a stretch through here. And again, it should feel good. It should not feel like you are straining, okay? And again, remember, don't pull this way. It's just a gentle little, just a little bit of an assistance with your fingertips. Gently remove the fingertips first and then come up to center. Okay, I don't even know if I'm centered on this. <laughs> My neck's not always centered. Um, so, oh yeah, they said look in the that part. Okay. Um, second, so that's your first step. Second step is going to look to the side. Now again, you don't want to move your shoulders. You don't want to move your body. You're literally looking forward and just look to the side. You don't want to be back here. You don't want to be up here. Okay, so again, to the side. Now, what I like to do is I will take either hand. This hand I like to use because I can give a little, I would go on the bone of my chin and give a little assist. Now I'm not pushing back. I'm just giving a little assist to give, stretch out the neck muscles. Again, this is not to like do anything other than just stretch, okay? So you do a little assist, hold that for 30 to 60 seconds, let go come back gently to center. So go slow because again, you want to make sure that your neck isn't going to, you know, get caught. Um, then you are going to, without the shoulder movement, turn to this side. This hand, push a little, hold for 30 to 60 seconds, gently release, come back to center. The last two. This one again is hard because again, if you think about it, we're always like this. So to bring our heads back, oh, I mean, I can already feel it. It's, it, we have to think about like being counter to what we are normally um, kind of our form. So again, we're all so pronated. We all look her down, we're driving like this, or we're looking like this. When do we ever go into this position? So we, it's the same kind of thing with like your lower back. When you're sitting and you're kind of humping, you want to always later in the day stretch it out the other way because otherwise everything's just going to turn forward and it's going to stay there, okay? So for this exercise, you're looking forward. Again, when you bring your neck back, you do not want to lean back, okay? So just wherever your range of motion is, doesn't matter if mine goes back farther or not, it doesn't matter, it's your body. So from here, neck back, oh. I give myself a little assist this way, but I'm not pulling back. I'm just staying in the same position. Uh, and then I will open and close my mouth. Uh, I know I keep doing that, but it's like, you can feel it. It feels so good, but it also is kind of like a little bit you just have to try and really relax and then gently come up, okay? The last one, you're letting your head come down forward. So again, you're not rounding your body. It's literally just your neck. So from here, just your neck. Take your fingertips gently, not this way but gently just feel some of those muscles in the neck loosening. 
30 to 60 seconds. Very gently release the fingertips and gently come up, okay? I usually recommend doing it twice just because again, any stretch you do, I always recommend if you have time to do it twice because you'll see on the second time, it's just gonna be that much looser and it'll just feel that much better. But if you only have time for one set, please at least hold it for the 30 to 60 seconds just to, again, really get that nice, you know, feeling like right now I actually feel really good <laughs> because I did that. So I'm going to do it again when I get off camera just to make sure that, you know, again, I get the full stretch. Um, but again, neck stretches, easy if you can even set a timer because it this this if if you're gonna do it for 30 seconds you know that's one two three like three minutes right four minutes <laughs> anybody that knows me knows i don't know math so you figure it out but it's no more than like five minutes okay and again nowadays even with your kids, if you can get them to kind of help stretch out their necks. I mean, I just, my fear is what is going to happen to all of us in another few years and what is going to happen to this younger generation because nobody is teaching them about stretching. Nobody is allowing them to kind of understand what's happening to their body by sitting at the computer like this. Um... And so that's, that is something I do. If you ever wanted me to work with your kids, I would love it or the whole family. You know, we'll just sit and do some stretching exercises so that you can all feel good and not just be so tight and, and just feel like there's nothing you can do about it, okay? Because there's a lot. Stretching is key. It is pain relief, immediate results, and it's free. Okay? So anyway, I hope you guys have a great day. I hope my wonderful client in LA got a lot out of this. <laughs> and uh, I will see you guys soon. Bye.